Yeah, Matt, uh, you talked about Kyle throughout. Uh, you know, as you're all on the brink of the first game, could you just sum, summarize how the, the rookies handled everything to you all and getting ready to go here against the Eagles? Yeah, I think he's done a good job. Um, I think he's in a good spot, you know, coming into game one. I thought training camp was really good for him. You know, I thought from understanding the offense to where he was at at the beginning of it to now, uh, he's come a long way. And um, I, you know, I know all those rookies, you, you know, your first time, it's, it's new, it's exciting, you're nervous, you're all those things. But my point to him is it doesn't change in year 14 either. You know, this first one is, it's always exciting. And so, you know, let's, let's make sure we have a good week of practice, enjoy the moment, and uh, I think he'll be just fine. And I talked to Tony yesterday, and uh, he said one of the reasons, the good things for the kid is that you know how to use the tight end. <laughs> so, look, you know, he talked about how you told him how, where he wanted the ball and, and all that. He kind of went through all that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, is that, that uh, um, you know, part of it, that, hey, you know where you want where your tight end to be at. And for sure. I think every, every player is different, you know, everybody's. I've got their own unique skill sets, but I, I do, you know, I think from having played for a while, played with a number of different guys, uh, you know, you try and get a feel for guys' strengths as, as quick as possible. And I, I'm clear with them about, you know, where, where I think, you know, certain throws are going to hit versus certain coverages and, and how we should expect it. And, um, you know, I think he's done a great job. He's, he's a sponge. There's no question about it. He listens and, you know, he's constantly taking in information. And, um, you know, one of the things you do with guys like that is sometimes you just give them what they need to, you know, because uh, sometimes it can be overwhelming. But I think he's he's really done a good job for us during camp. Thanks. Mike? Yeah, I mean, obviously this is, you're playing Philly. I know that you've played Philly a bunch of times in your career. Is it any different for you when you're playing the Eagles, though, considering? I think you know, early, maybe early in my career it was. I, I think at this point, you know, I don't know how many we've played them quite a few times, playoffs and um, regular season games. I, th I think this might be the third time I've opened with them for a season opener. So, uh, you know, the longer you play, um, the more they're, they're very much just the same week to week. And, and I try and approach that uh, with that mindset every week. Is, you get more like outside people, like friends from you know, Pinchargo, like reaching out this week or no? Uh, yeah, I mean, here and there, you know, you, maybe a few more text messages or, or, or something like that. Um, I've got a handful of tickets. There's no doubt about that. But uh, it's really, it's really not that different than than other weeks. Josh, the first time you sat down with Arthur and really talked about this, did you feel like you were immediately talking the same language? Did that take some time? Did you feel like you were coming from the same place? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I, I think from a you know, a macro standpoint, we were very much on the same page. I think from a micro standpoint, some of the terminology here and there is a little bit different. Um, and it's just trying to sort those differences out, you know, at the beginning. But um, I've said it, you know, before, I think he's, he's worked on different staffs with a lot of people that I've played for. And so, you know, I think there is a lot of, um, you know, things that we've both done at certain points of our career that are very similar. And, uh, you know, I think that helped in, in the transition process. Did you think, do you feel like there were things that you may have liked more or liked more than he did and you had to win him over or he won you over to certain ways of thinking? Was I, yeah, I think there's a little bit of that, you know. Um, as you go through it and you watch certain things, you know, you make suggestions. I've, I've certainly made suggestions of, of things that I've done throughout my career that, you know, might fit the personnel that we have right now. Uh, and he's certainly shown me a lot of things that they did in Tennessee, which were different from what we had done. And, um, you know, they had great success there with it. So I, I think that worked both ways. Tori? I asked Arthur this, but I, I wanted to get your opinion too. What are some of the indicators for, for you that kind of show you that you and Arthur in, are in sync in what you want, I guess, just, you know, what you want to be going into week one? Well, I think... You know, I think you talk about as we went through probably the second half of training camp, the type of execution, the type of pace, you know, that he wants um, during practices, um, you know, being aggressive at, at certain spots, when to know to get rid of it, check it down, do certain things like that. I think really the second half of training camp, that, that part started to come along and you could feel like there was less, you know, here's what I'm thinking here. And uh, it was more, you know, that's what we talked about. Good job. Let's move on to the next one. And so. 
you know, I, I definitely feel as we continue to move along, you know, we're, we're in a better spot. And, you know, certainly there'll be growth throughout the year, though, too. I think, you know, the key, I think, uh, having been around, you know, for, for a few years is, is that we constantly got to be growing and evolving and getting better. And, and our relationship has to get tighter. And, you know, if we do that, I think, you know, we'll give ourselves a chance to be the, the kind of football team that we're capable of being at the end of the year. I remember you talking, gosh, this is probably months ago at this point, you were talking about this voice is a lot more difficult to drown out now than maybe ever before. And I'm just curious, kind of at this point in your career, what are the challenges of kind of throwing off the labels that, you know, other people put on you and going out there week one and being, you know, who you believe you are? Yeah, I think, you know, for, for the most part, you just have to focus on, you know, your preparation and, uh, getting yourself ready to go and then you know the opinions of the people that that matter to you and um, you know I, I really feel like I've got a good support system for myself feel like I'm in a great place and, and have a good routine and process and you know I find confidence in both those things. Allison? What are your expectations just going into this first game of the season kind of that learning curve with Anchor Jordan Smith being it's his first NFL game as well? Yeah I think you know for us it's about going out and operating on offense and you know, making sure that uh, we're detailed in our plan, we're doing what we're coached to do, and, and that we're efficient. And you know, I expect us to, to go out there and, and operate that way. Um, so that's gotta be the expectation for all of us going into the first game. And from year one to now year 14, what is different or what have you learned the most about game day preparation? I know Calvin's <laughs> talked about wings from a car wash that you have to have. <laughs> so what is your, you know, what Mine's a little different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, what's your preparation? What did you learn from year one to now year 14 going in? Man, I do a lot of a lot of things different. I think a lot of them, you know, come in terms of of you know when you're young, you're getting advice from all kinds of different places because you don't really know. And you, you do there's a it takes a period of time to learn what works for you. And so you know, I think in my in my film study, you know, in my in my you know going through the game plan and and studying it that way, I think I'm more efficient with my time. Um, you know, have a better understanding of what actually matters to me and what doesn't. And um, I think the same in terms of my physical preparation too. You know, I feel like the way that I train, you know, the days that I train, um, what exercises and what certain things we're doing on certain days is much different than it was early in my career. And, and it's come from a place of, of constantly evolving, you know, and, and trying to get better and, and also learning from a, mu you know, a few mistakes along the way too of, of um, you know, things that have come up in my career. Kind of goes back to Allison's first question, um, but how hard is it in week one, not just facing a team that's going to have on scout looks like everybody, but also a, a new coaching staff and a lot of new players? Yeah, I think there's always challenges in that. You know, when you're, you're facing an entire new coaching staff, new play caller, you know, coming from a different organization, it's always, you know, it's always hard to know what exactly you should be watching in terms of your film. I think the biggest thing is, is making sure that we know our plan uh, and what we're trying to do and, and, and make sure you know, that we're all on the same page offensively. You know, I think if you know your rules and, and you trust what you see with your eyes and you trust the rules that we have in place, you know, it helps when you're going to see some things that are unscouted. We'll get some looks on, on Sunday that we haven't seen in the preseason from them, and it'll be about adjusting to that and making sure that we're on top of our keys. And I mean, there were, there were fans in the preseason, there were fans at training camp, there were some fans last year, but how different is it going to be? What are you expecting out of the crowd? And also a, a, a rowdy road crowd of history than the Amphitheater. Yeah, you know, they, they – that's an organization that has traveled well uh, in the past, and you know they've they've got fans that are passionate, you know for sure. And so um, it was cool to watch college football last week and see you know the atmospheres. I mean that that part of it was missed for sure from from the player stand, uh, standpoint. And so you know I'm hoping it's a great atmosphere for us on Sunday. You were talking earlier about the advice that you give Kyle Pitts schematically and on the field. But what would be your biggest piece? advice to a rookie like that where there's a lot of conversation, a lot of spotlights, and now he's just getting started? Yeah, I think, you know, you, you just it's still playing football. You know, it, it, it's different from the how much you get pulled in different directions and, um, you know, those kind of things are different. But when it comes down to playing, you know, it's the same, same game you've been playing your entire life. And so, you know, just prepare all week as, as best you can. When it comes time to play, cut it loose. Have fun and enjoy the moment. Jarvis? Hey, what are some of the uh, challenges that Philadelphia uh, Eagles defense present for you? 
I think they're they're talented in the front four. You know, they've they've got some some guys on the defensive line that are disruptive players, uh, guys that I've played against a, a number of times, and and you know that they can take over a game. And so it's a great challenge for us. Um, you know, to uh, see where we're at uh, against a really good front four, um, and you know we're going to have to you know have to be aware of of where some of those guys are at. A lot of people talk about how you know balance is key on offense. Like, what does that look like for you in this offense? Because you've had a lot of success when y'all had to run the football and play action and stuff like that. So, what does that look like for you in this new offense? Well, I think you know it's making the defense defend a number of different things. You know, defending the run game inside, outside, uh, misdirection, all kinds of different things. Um, and then same in the pass game, you know, marrying up your play action pass, making it try and look like your run, you know, so that they struggle there. Having all kinds of different things in your drop back game, uh, stressing them on different levels, vertically, horizontally. I think, you know, you, you, you want to have great balance and, and you want to try and, you know, make it as difficult for a defense to, to key in on, on what you're doing. Big one for DC over COVID. Listen, I got a, I got a text from Matt Shaw. About midway through the game, he said BC's doing good against Toothpaste U. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so we'll take it though. You can only win the games on your schedule. Thank you. Uh, seriously, though, you sort of alluded to this a little while ago, but are you also sort of a little unsure about what to expect in the first game in terms of, particularly from the offensive perspective, how in sync you guys are with the other since you haven't? Can you get a sense first from practice and scrimmages? And yeah, I mean, I think you get a sense for what it what it's like, but there's there's definitely unknown. You know, there's there's always unknown going into the first game, whether it's a new staff, a staff you've been with for a long time, you know, whatever it is. There's there's definitely uh, unknowns going into any season, and um, you know, I I think we'll be a very different team in November and December. I hope we are. I hope we're a much better football team. We've continued to improve, um, but there's definitely unknowns going into into the first game. <laughs> I think he was. People actually knew him when he was in Philadelphia. I, on the other hand, you know, was flying under the radar in high school. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd be cool for him. You know, I'm sure. You know, growing up there, and um, you know, family and friends still back in that area. I remember, for me, we played up there my rookie year, and so that was a unique experience. Michael asked about it earlier. Back then, it was like it was much different than it is now, and um, you know, it, it'll be you know a really fun experience for him. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Can't give any of the trade secrets away. Yeah, time for one more, Steve Frank. Just, just real quick on a different subject. Just on this year, it's being written that you guys might not be as good as six was. I think has been out there, but you might win. Does that ever get old when people already say how not good you're going to be? Oddly enough, I think most of the time they're wrong. So you know, good or bad. Uh, I don't. I don't worry about it too much. You know, there's there's 17 games on our schedule. There's a lot of football to be played between now and then, and uh, you know, I, I think you know we'll we'll see where we're at at the end of the year. I, I feel like we've got a good team coming into the season. All right. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.